you doing? Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts. Today we're going to be going over how to replace an air filter on a 2.0 TSI engine and this is going to be on a 2013 CC. Uh, tools required for this job are hose clamp pliers, a 3 8 ratchet, and a 3 inch extension with a T25 Torx bit at the end. As mentioned earlier, uh, you will need a T25 Torx and that is to remove the eight screws that hold the top of the air box to the bottom of the air box. They're mounted at either side of this pipe and then around the perimeter of the air box itself. We can start by removing this hose, then it's best to take off the mass airflow sensor connector and then this hose clamp. After that, we'll remove all the screws and remove the top of the air box. Now to remove these clamps, they're just a squeeze clamp on either side. Uh, there is a clip at the top and on the bottom that are, are clamped on. Uh, when you squeeze the side, it releases the tension which allows the clip off. So the best thing to do is squeeze it and then kind of rock it. Um, and you'll see they are clipped onto this part and then on the bottom. Uh, sometimes they can be pretty challenging to get off, but um, once you rock it back and forth a little bit, you can get it off. Okay. Then we'll go through and remove the electrical connector for the mass airflow sensor. You do so just by pushing down right here on this electrical connector and then you can just pull it up. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this spring clamp that holds the air intake onto the mass airflow sensor. All you need is a pair of spring clamp pliers to remove it. Uh, these are specifically designed for this style clamp, but you also can just use a standard set of pliers. Go ahead and just pop it on there. Just squeeze it and slide it off. You can let it go and then let it stay there. After that you can just remove this pipe, just slide it off the mass airflow sensor and you're done. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the eight screws that hold it on. Uh, once we've gotten them all loose, we can just remove the cover. This particular air filter has been in the vehicle for around 12,000 miles. If you take a look, you will see some dirt spots around here and on the sides you can see where, where it is dirty. If you compare that to a brand new filter, you can take a look and see some of the newer filters have a different type of orange whereas this one's kind of pink around the rubber seal. Um, but if you take a look at the filters, they are significantly different in color uh, overall. Now on top of offering the Volkswagen air filter found here, we also offer a K&N version. Uh, they are reusable, so they are lifetime filters that you wouldn't need to replace. Just clean, uh, get a recharge kit, and then reuse uh, at your service interval. Okay, now when you have your new filter, you just drop it in place. Uh, make sure that it's inside all these the box area so your filter is not pouring outside of the edge. Grab the top, mount it back on. Make sure your screw holes are lined up. Okay. Start by tightening these. All right, now that those are all tight, we can just slide this pipe back on. Should pop on pretty easily to the mass airflow sensor. Then we can put in, reinstall that clamp. All you do is squeeze it, slide it back over where it was mounted, and let it go. You will want to make sure that it is on, in this channel all the way around because sometimes they will rotate one way or the other. Now we can plug this back in. Mass airflow sensor connector, and there is 
the clamp on the side of this pipe here where the wire was holding in to make sure it doesn't get in the way of anything. Action. Finally, all you have to do is install the secondary air hose on the front right here. All you have to do is push it on and snap it in place. And that's how you install an air filter on a 2.0 TSI Volkswagen CC.